Hi there everybody, welcome back to the Younger Earth. So it's a miserable day here in Plymouth in the southwest. Yeah, the rain outside is just ridiculous so I'm hid in the poly tunnel and I thought this would be a great opportunity to talk about why I left YouTube about a year or so ago and why I deleted my account and I thought I was done with YouTube forever. I was not going to come back. But I've decided this year that I will come back and I will start posting again on YouTube and try and create the content that I used to. I can hear you asking why did you stop creating the content? Why did you leave YouTube and delete your account? So I decided to leave YouTube and delete my account because I was getting quite a lot of hate and some bullying from fellow YouTubers and I did not want to be around it. My mental health is very bad as it is and just the negative comments and just people being so nasty there was no need for it I'm not in the best place daily anyway I have a long-term disability what affects me in many different ways from my mobility to my insides and also my mental health so I decided to open up about this in my first year of growing when I started my YouTube channel and a fellow youtuber started accusing me of lying and putting it on yeah what I really don't understand and they accused me of copying them and doing stuff what they was doing when they was inspiring me. I'm not here to name the person or the people that were bullying me and harassing me. They know who they are. You can easily scroll past something and just not say something. Keep your bad thoughts to yourself. There's no need for hate so I decided to just take myself out of the situation and focus on my Facebook and Instagram. What I'm very happy about as I've reached nearly 11,000 followers on Facebook and approaching 4,000 on Instagram. And last year I even started writing for Kitchen Garden magazine, giving me the confidence I needed to carry on doing this because I was at the stage of actually throwing away all of this and just stopping it. I do this to share my growing experience with you and I want to share the other side of growing and that is why I do this for my physical health, my mental health. My allotment has changed my life over the last two years. Not gonna lie, it was very hard to have to deal with it and it became a point where there was people saying, I am not disabled, there's nothing wrong with me, I'm lying and yeah, if you actually seen and experienced what I go through on a daily basis just to produce videos, take photos, it's ridiculous and for people then to say there's nothing wrong with you it's just a big slap in the face all the bullying and hate really did start to take a serious toll on my mental health and i did nearly have or i did have a mini breakdown i did not want to leave the house i did not even want to come to allotment i was ready to give everything up and just to walk away and not carry on this and i should have never felt in that position in the first place we're all here to love and encourage and inspire not to hate because someone is doing something a bit different or someone is opening up about their mental health just because you can't see something is happening it doesn't mean it is not happening i go out my way to try and make these videos happy and not talk so much about my struggles i'm going to change that i'm going to open up a bit more and just talk more to you guys and hopefully just show you life is worth living no matter the situation and try not to listen to what other people said i've learned that people are going to say nasty things and yeah you've just got to try and build a wall around yourself what i do not want to do i want to be as open as possible i don't want to be defending myself or having to justify why i do something or why i'm in pain is yeah there's no need for it Everyone has their own struggles daily. Just because you do not see them mean it is not happening. So please take that in account when you go to leave a comment or when you go say something. Yeah, it really does affect my mental health. It's one of them, I'm trying to talk to you guys and just open up a bit, but it's hard. I have built this wall around myself for so long and I'm trying to take it down brick by brick and yeah, open up. Anyway that is all in the past and i've come a long way from feeling that i had to leave youtube so i've decided to come back and i'm going to start making content hopefully like i used to and try and be a bit more open and share my personal experiences and my personal challenges 
because that's what I wanted to do when I started this. I wanted to show you what it was like for myself to be gardening and hopefully inspire some other people that was in a similar sort of situation. So now I'm going to attempt to rebuild all my content because I deleted over 60 videos. I deleted my account and I had about 600 subscribers. What I am now coming back and trying to regain them. I think I'm about 300 and something. So if you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. Or if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. And it will actually give me some motivation to get some amazing content out there for you. So so many things I have not shown on YouTube because I've been posting mainly on my Facebook and uploading all my videos on there. I have uploaded a few on YouTube, but with all the hate, I just felt it was best to stay over there and just focus on myself and not on what other people were saying. What is very hard for me, I take comments very personally, so I'm not in the best line of work being on social media because it is full of quite a lot of hate, but despite all the hate, there is a lot of love and there's so many of you that support me and help me through these horrible times. So yeah, I don't want to just keep rambling and rambling on. I did have things in my mind that I wanted to say and now they've, yeah, they've gone. I can't even really think, yeah, <laughs> I'm saying yeah, 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 over and over again. I just wanted to open up a little bit and talk why I actually left YouTube because so many people have asked why and why did I delete everything? They come back to watch some videos and they're gone. So I'm hoping this video will just explain to you why I made that decision to leave. So I'm going to do things a little bit different than my first year of growing. Because I've had a big break from actually recording full on videos. But there's been lots of changes. We've got the polytunnel, we've got the new plot. What I've been recording throughout to hopefully put a video together. I've shown you how to start a new plot. I've got lots of plans for some cool videos. I've decided this year to do a lot of seed to harvest videos. So I'll be recording from planting the seeds all the way to harvesting. And hopefully I would like to do a mini cooking um, episodes where I cook my produce and show you what you could do with it. So hopefully that will all come in the next year. I'm feeling very motivated to get my YouTube up and running and get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. Hopefully with your help, so I would appreciate you sharing my channel to your friends. If you're a fellow YouTuber that I have followed for a while or we've become friends, I would really appreciate you giving me a shout out or a share just to get it out there that I'm back on YouTube and I'm here to create content and hopefully show you all how I grow and you may be able to take something from this. If not, we hopefully will have fun along the way and yeah, just enjoy the growing season things are going to be a bit different this year. I'm growing a lot more flowers. I am attempting to grow giant veg and I want just to have a lot more fun than the previous year. It was too much. I could not enjoy growing last year because I was building, I was doing this, I was doing that. I took on too many tasks and yeah, it was too much. So this year I've said after April, there is no more building whatsoever and we are going to focus on growing and creating content but by recording like videos of how I grow things throughout the year, it saves me having to edit at a busy time so I can keep all the footage back and then at the end of the season, create some amazing videos from the start to the finish and hopefully show you how to grow things the way I do. I mean, no dig allotment gardener that take methods from lots of different people to create the best way for myself to grow. And I also have another article coming out in Kitchen Garden Magazine this year with hopefully some more. I need to get right in and start planning. And I also launched a calendar for 2021. I've not really posted about it on YouTube, but it has done amazing. I've sold more than I ever imagined and it has paid for me to continue to do this for the next year. And I'm paying for some projects that I really wanted to do that I couldn't because my channel the young girl it doesn't actually make no money itself because i'm not on youtube i'm not getting adverts when i hit a thousand subscribers so that is not funding me to do anything so i had to think out the box and we created the grow calendar and it has been 
absolutely amazing. I, I do still have a few in stock if you're interested. It's lots of dates for when I start things throughout the year. Just to give you a bit of an idea of when to sell, lots of gardening tips and jobs for you to be getting on with as well as some inspirational photos and yeah it's packed full of information i think i only have about nine left so yeah head over to theyounggrower.co.uk if you're interested and in purchasing yourself one once these last ones have gone i will not be ordering no more and i will be doing a calendar for 2022 so yeah keep an eye out for that in the coming year so i've lost track multiple times doing this video my mind is a bit yeah everywhere today trying to focus on the positive and by doing this video i thought i could try and put the past behind us move on focus on the future and grow together and try to grow my channel bigger than it already is and hopefully inspire lots more people i want to open up more about my health as well in the coming year about what i have to deal with why the allotment has changed my life and what i hope to get out of doing the allotment my body has started to make some i wouldn't say improve but they are improvements. I am starting to feel things that I've never felt before in my lower part of my body since I got paralyzed. The only other thing is a lot of pain is coming back with it. So things have to change. So I've invested in lots of self-watering grow pots and everything for the polytunnel and the greenhouse up here this year. What will hopefully make life easier and hopefully show you guys that gardening can be easy it doesn't have to be lots of work you can pop down quickly check it harvest some veg go home and i also have lots more chickens now from my last proper videos on here they just keep accumulating i seem to chicken math yeah i don't even want to get into it now because i will just go on and on about my chickens i fell in love with them i have become a bit of an addiction to hatching eggs i don't really post those videos on youtube i will start to but if you're interested in seeing what i've been up to for the last year please head over to facebook and check out some of the videos i've put a lot of amazing content on and the amount of views they've been getting so i put a video up the other day and it's got 15,000 views and it's like crazy absolutely crazy so now i want to put all my videos onto YouTube so it's all in one place and yeah hopefully reach more people so I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to leave you here for the day and I'm going to get on with sowing some seeds I have lots to start I want to start off some beetroot some spring onions yeah I'm going to multi sow quite a few because I love to multi sow I got the method from Charles Dowding also like to say a big thank you to everyone that has sent me some dahlias and some plants yeah just receiving gifts in the post is absolutely amazing it boosts my mental health so much and to have your support is can't even think of the word but having your support is amazing and it just inspires me to carry on doing this some of you say i inspire you but you guys inspire me yeah anyway thank you all for watching i hope this just gives you a little bit of an insight into my crazy mind and why I left YouTube so thank you and we'll see each other soon